As the hour for the battle between two of the best heavyweights in the world draws near, Alexander Usyk continues his psychological onslaught on Tyson Fury. And this time, he's suggesting that the Gypsy King has an emotional side. Um, who doesn't? But see, the Ukrainian took it a little farther. He said that Fury is a completely different person when he's not in front of a camera. The Brit likes to play the rude, bad guy for the public. But in reality, he's a very soft guy. Someone who likes watching rom-coms and love stories, and even cries a little when there's a particularly emotional scene. But after saying that, he quickly clarified that it's not a bad thing. Even he sheds a tear when he watches something sentimental. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. The guy is so subtle at taking jibes that you wouldn't even notice he did it. Usyk also talked a little about his upcoming unification bout for the world's heavyweight titles, which he's confident will be finalized soon. Well, it's about time anyway. I know things move pretty slowly in boxing, but it has already been a couple of months since Fury and Usyk faced off in London after the Gypsy King's win over Derek Chisora. And this unification bout was the sole reason Fury came out of retirement. Not to forget that this was the only fight Usyk's sticking around for as well. As the negotiations between them continue, I can only hope that they soon finalize everything, because this is a fight that absolutely needs to happen. To be honest, I was really hyped when these two got together in the ring. The way Fury went on a tirade of slurs against Usyk, calling him a midget, little rabbit, sausage, and I can't even remember what not. And Usyk just stood there smiling calmly and looking at his foe. Even he thought that he got in the Gypsy King's head that night. Well, it's good to see that change. Fury has been getting into the heads of his opponents for years now, but if Usyk is beating him at his own game, who knows what's going to happen in the ring. The cat is confident that he's going to win, but he knows that it won't be easy. This is probably the most difficult test of his boxing career because not only does Fury have a massive size advantage, but he moves really well for a guy that size. He also has tons of experience and can adapt on the fly. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury! And this is Tyson Fury's era. So even for a maestro like Usyk, it'll be a challenge to keep the Brit in check. But the Ukrainian is no pushover in the ring either. He showed his class and expertise when he moved up from cruiserweight to the flagship division. Usyk handily defeated Anthony Joshua twice. And both times, he was the much better boxer. As I mentioned, Usyk uses that right hand as a throwaway to mask that left hand that he throws down the middle, through the guard, and around the corner. But there's a key difference between both men. While Fury might resort to insults even after winning, Usyk is much more grounded. The cat told Joshua not to be upset because of the loss. Instead, he said that Anthony is a pretty cool boxer and a nice man, and that if he keeps working hard, he'll become the champion once again. Wholesome, right? Well, that's just the kind of guy he is. Like, even his warnings are more playful than threatening. Of course, there's always going to be banter whenever there's the world heavyweight title on the line. And in this particular case, there are four. Usyk currently holds the WBA, WBO, and IBF titles, while Fury has the WBC strap right now. So trash talking, warnings, threats, and everything else is pretty much expected for now. Y'all must remember how Fury ran his mouth off at the Ukrainian back in London. Where's Alexander Usyk, the rabbit? And he continues to do so every time Usyk comes up in conversation, at least in the media. Recently, the Gypsy King had started calling Usyk a middleweight. This was obviously pointed at his relative size and his jump from cruiserweight to heavyweight. The cat took to Twitter in the middle of a training session to respond to this. He posted a clip where he could be seen working on his cardio inside a pool. He then goes on to say, Hey Belly, I'm coming for you, and goes on to give his own belly a couple of taps. 
The whole thing is so hilarious. I'm sure Fury would be, well, furious after seeing that. It's also good to see that the champion is not letting his hair down. He's still training and keeping fit, even though nothing solid has materialized yet. And if Tyson Fury's cousin is to be believed, it's just too good to be true. Yep, that's right, guys. His own cousin said that. Andy Lee is Gypsy King's coach as well. And if he isn't sure if the fight is happening, then who else would you believe? Lee told Mirror that he hasn't been in touch with his cousin since Christmas, and he doesn't even know what's going on any longer. It's on again, it's off again. That's what Lee said. Frankly, he doesn't see this fight happening anytime soon. I don't really know what to think about that. I mean, coming from a guy close to Fury, those words really hold meaning. But Lee does want this to happen. He believes this to be absolutely necessary for the heavyweight division. And let's be real, who else are they going to fight now? They've won everything there was to win, fought everyone there was to fight. Now, all that's left to do is for them to face each other to decide who's the best heavyweight in the world. This would be one of the most anticipated bouts in recent history, and I can bet that this will break a few records in boxing irrespective of the outcome. But you've got to admit, Tyson Fury has clear advantages. The man is a tank. There's no doubt about it. He's got a good six inches in height as compared to Usyk, which obviously means he has a longer reach as well. But you can't discount the Ukrainian skills. There's a reason he's known as one of the most technical boxers in the division. And in the past, the Gypsy King had problems dealing with smaller guys like him. Steve Cunningham is an obvious example. Back in 2013, he too moved up from cruiserweight to heavyweight, and he even knocked the Brit to the canvas. Tyson Fury walked immediately to his corner at the end of this round as compared to the end of the first. Let's go back and take a look at the start of this second round. But Fury was later able to come back and knocked Cunningham out in the seventh round of their fight. Usyk is a lot more technical, has an amazing chin and a very solid defense. He could cause Fury a whole lot of trouble, but Andy Lee is confident in his cousin's abilities. And rightly so. The man may be a giant, but he moves really well. Now, I'm not saying that his footwork is as slick as that of Muhammad Ali, but he definitely knows how to dance. His defense is arguably the best in the division right now now. He ducks, parries, shoulder rolls, and slips almost effortlessly. So much so that he causes his opponents to get frustrated and start throwing wild punches at him. And on top of that, he too has a number of skills at his disposal and is extremely difficult to predict. He can switch to Southpaw to match Usyk and try to box him with that. And if that doesn't work, he can maul the Ukrainian, eventually wearing him down before landing the finishing blow. Both of these guys are very technical boxers. They know what they need to do, and they execute their plans to perfection. But I can't deny the advantages Fury has in terms of physicality. As much as I want Usyk to win, Fury just might end up getting the better of him. That's been all the latest on Fury vs Usyk. See you in the next one.